Ethereum just broke $3,400. It is at new all-time highs. It is absolutely insane. So in this video, what we're gonna look at is how much higher can Ethereum go? How much higher is Bitcoin gonna go? What is gonna happen to the altcoins? And what could lie ahead for cryptocurrencies and the rest of this bull run. What's up guys, Dirk here from intelligentcryptocurrency.com. If you are new to the channel, click the subscribe button below. After that, click the notification bell so you do get updates. And then if you want me to send you an email every time I upload a video, because you know, who uses notifications anyway, then simply click on the first link in the description below. Sign up for my free crypto masterclass, that way you get on my email list, and I can just send you an email every time I upload a new video. All right, so Ethereum. $3,400, it's at new all-time highs, it's absolutely insane, it's defied all the critics and the haters, people are in disbelief, and it is just magical, <laughs> that's the word to put it. You can see over here, Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, is 27 years old, he is now a cryptocurrency billionaire, he is actually the world's youngest crypto billionaire. This is absolutely insane, cryptocurrencies are creating millionaires, even billionaires, and this is basically the shift of and, and, and the birth of a whole new asset class and the, the shift from traditional finance to the next form that I believe it's gonna be in, which is all gonna be digital, simply because it's a more efficient system, it's more flexible, it's more integrated, and I, I think that's what we're seeing, right? So the cool thing about cryptocurrencies is that it is both a financial asset and a new technology. So it's, that's why there's so much potential in this, because it's not just about speculating on the price, but it is about the development and adoption of a new technology that keeps improving, just like we saw with the birth of basically of computers and the internet, right? 20, 25 years ago, how it was basically nothing, how that's evolved into better machines, more programs, faster internet, more integration, all that kind of stuff. So we're seeing the same thing with cryptocurrencies, where just like with any tech adoption curve, in the beginning, it's just a few thousand people and then 10,000 and then 100,000, then a million, then a couple million, and then it explodes, right? We've seen this with smartphones, we've seen this with social media, like Facebook and Instagram, you know, where those platforms in the beginning just had few users, and as it gets bigger, it's a snowball effect where more people tell more of their friends who tell more of their friends, and it just absolutely blows up. That's like the hockey curve effect, right? And we've seen this with, um, with cryptocurrencies where the last years, people basically had no idea what crypto was for the most part. A lot of people just thought it was a scam. They weren't interested in it. And there just wasn't that awareness and also not the adoption also for a large part because the technology wasn't ready. The infrastructure wasn't ready. But now over basically this last year, last two years, infrastructure has massively, massively increased. There's so many more ways to buy crypto, to use it. There's so many apps, there's so much more compliance. There's so much awareness and adoption about it. So now, instead of in, in the last cycle in 2017, where we had you know maybe 50 million people who had crypto, now we're at probably around 200, maybe even a little bit more. So every time this gets bigger and bigger, and as more people get in there, like the snowball effect, they tell more people, more people get involved, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I can see over the next five to 10 years, cryptocurrencies and digital assets getting absolutely massive, maybe getting over a billion people who use it, who own it, um, and who start using it, right? So we are still in, in the pretty early phases of cryptocurrencies and digital assets. The technology and, and the infrastructure and the adoption, I think is still gonna get much, much bigger over time. So now that we have that out the way, I still think there is so much opportunity with cryptocurrencies, but we also have to be aware of, from a speculation point of view, that the market moves in cycles. So even though maybe the longer term uptrend is just, you know, we're gonna get to maybe tens of trillions of dollars in cryptocurrency market cap, within that larger uptrend, there are booms and busts, right? It goes up and down and up and down, but ultimately it ends up getting much bigger every single time. But from a speculation point of view, obviously it's much nicer to be able to cash out near the top, sell out near those, those peak euphoria moments, and then wait for it to crash back down and buy back in so that you can increase the amount of crypto that you have or increase your wealth every time. Because if you're buying it at the top and it drops 80%, which it has done multiple times, then obviously you could end up either drawing down a lot, but most people will end up buying the top and then selling right at the bottom and just losing a whole lot of money, which is obviously doing it wrong. So that's why you need to follow this channel because I have been documenting this for you know the last couple of years and I will continue to do so. So currently we are almost 12 months 
past the previous halving, um, which happened on the 11th of May in 2020, the Bitcoin halving. Now, the 2013 cycle lasted about 12 months from halving to peak. The 2017 cycle lasted 18 months, right? So if the previous cycle is anything to go by, 18 months, then we could still have six months of cryptocurrency bull run to go where things got absolutely parabolic and absolutely nuts. The thing is, that isn't a guarantee. So obviously you always want to manage your risk, never invest more than you can afford to lose, and always just be careful, protect your initial capital at all times. That is more important than trying to make big profits, but losing whatever you invest. So the cryptocurrency market is interesting because there are different components of it. We have Bitcoin, which is obviously the largest, most secure, most well-known cryptocurrency. It's the one that the institutions are buying and investing in. Then we have Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, but it is completely different to Bitcoin. Bitcoin has, it was meant to be peer-to-peer -peer digital cash. It's kind of evolved into being more like a digital gold, a store of wealth. Whereas Ethereum, even though some people say it could be money, right? It is actually more like a, a base layer, like an operating system on which the whole of the cryptocurrency uh, industry is built. And basically you can compare Ethereum to being like your, your Windows operating system or your Mac operating system. It is a platform on which all sorts of applications can be built. And this is where a lot of other cryptocurrencies are built on top of. And Ethereum is just a huge, huge deal. So we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, and then we have thousands of other cryptocurrencies that are all trying to achieve different goals. Some of them are trying to be like Bitcoin and trying to be digital cash. Some of them are trying to be utility tokens. Some of them are trying to be platforms to compete with Ethereum. There's all sorts of different use cases for all these tokens. But basically, the idea is we have Bitcoin, we have Ethereum, and we have all the other different altcoins. And they have different market capitalizations and they tend to behave in different ways within the cryptocurrency bull run. Now, obviously, we don't have a ton of data to work with. We've only had two uh, previous cryptocurrency bull run cycles and only the last one really was one with any sort of significance where we had tons of altcoins. In the 2013 cycle, we didn't really have that. So the last cycle, we had a lot of different altcoins. This cycle, we have even way, way more. But as you can see over here, this chart that has been on the screen for a while, um, this is basically a good way to sum it up. So you can see the path to alt season. And alt season is basically where a lot of these lower cap coins go absolutely parabolic. And that is what, as speculators, we are looking for because that is where you can see 10, 20, 50, 100x gains in a short period of time. Bitcoin has already moved so much, it's already got such a large market cap at a trillion dollars that it's not just going to go 50 or 100x, right? The same with Ethereum, the same with a lot of these larger cap coins. But a lot of these smaller altcoins, because they have a much smaller market cap, they need much less money to flow into them to have incredible, incredible gains. And that is as speculators what we are trying to capitalize on so that we can use these altcoins and these potentially massive gains to be able to increase our holdings sell it back to Bitcoin and end up with more Bitcoin because, you know, a Bitcoin is over $50,000. Most people can't afford it. But if an altcoin does 10x or 50x or 100x, then you can take $1,000 or $5,000, turn that into enough money to buy a single Bitcoin. And that is how you can increase your Bitcoin holdings or your Ethereum holdings over time. So what we are seeing here, phase number one is Bitcoin. Okay, first, all the money flows into Bitcoin. It's the largest, the most well-known. Okay, we've seen this happen. This happened in 2017. It's happened this year so far. The institution started buying Bitcoin. Bitcoin was the first to move. It went from 10,000 to 65,000. It had a massive, massive pump inflow into crypto. And as a result, because Bitcoin went up, um, the other cryptocurrencies also started moving higher. Then phase number two is Ethereum starts to move and it starts to pump like crazy. We saw this back in 2017 too. So, so far, the second phase of the cycle is right on track and we are currently in phase two where we are seeing Ethereum pump. So we've had Bitcoin go to 65K. ETH, it has increased in price while Bitcoin was increasing, but it didn't really have the pump yet until, you know, maybe the last couple of weeks, especially the last couple of days where it really started playing catch up. Bitcoin already did 3X, it went from 20, 20,000, the old all-time high, it went to 65,000. So it did about 3x the old all-time high. Ethereum, the previous all-time high was $1,420. It has not yet done 3x. So it's playing catch up, okay? It's done 2x now, which would be 2,800. 3x, doing the same as what Bitcoin has already done, would put us at about 4,200 Ethereum. So the theory behind this is basically 
that after money flows into Bitcoin, it flows into Ethereum, once Ethereum's moved up enough, profits get taken and that flows into the other cryptocurrencies, the altcoins. So the altcoin phase here is broken up into two phases, which is basically the large caps, which are basically the top, uh, whatever you want to call it, the top 10, the top 20, the top 50, basically the larger coins besides um, Bitcoin and Ethereum. We're looking at Ripple, we're looking at Bitcoin Cash, we're looking at XLM, you know, the, the top cryptocurrencies that are already in the billions in market cap. Then those start to receive money and those start to pump. And then finally, in the very last phase, phase number four, this is alt season. This is where all the money is trickled down from Bitcoin into Ethereum, into the large caps. And then finally, they just flow into all the different small cap altcoins and they get an insane pump. And this last phase that is the one where you can make insane profits insane gains in a very short period of time but as a disclaimer of course that's very risky and as soon as that pump is done it goes up but then it comes straight back down and often lower to where it started from so be very careful with that but again if you see this as an opportunity and you understand the risks there is huge potential in that last altcoin season pump and that happened at the very last three weeks of the previous 18 month cycle in 2017 the very last three weeks altcoins small cap altcoins went absolutely insane we saw 10 20 30 50x gains in some of these coins in a period of two to three weeks it's absolutely nuts so there's obviously no guarantee that this is going to repeat again but so far we have seen phase number one, Bitcoin has pumped. We have seen phase number two, Ethereum has pumped. And as a result of both of these pumping, large caps and, and smaller cap coins in general have moved higher, but they haven't really had the parabolic blow off that they would get according to this, uh, this four phase um, plan. Okay, so we are seeing as a result of, you know, a rising tide lifts all boats, we are seeing other cryptocurrencies move a little bit higher, but they haven't really gotten that crazy alt season yet. So if this continues to play out and who knows how long this could take, this could take weeks, it could take a few months, maybe it takes another six months. But at some point, if this plays out, we are going to get an absolutely insane parabolic blow off in a lot of the different altcoins. And that is where the huge potential lies. Now, again, there's no guarantee that we are going to get this. But so far, the whole cryptocurrency cycle seems to be following in a very similar way the 2017 cycle and especially these four phases with bitcoin ethereum large caps small caps so we are going to continue to keep an eye on this and see how this develops if this is anything to go by looking at a lot of data there is still time left in this bull run so hopefully that is going to be the case and for everyone invested that is going to be very very profitable of course you do want to have your exit strategy in place again you want to be very very careful with your risk management don't overextend, don't invest what you can't afford to lose. This is very risky. At any point, the market could drop 50% or more, in which case, obviously, you know, if you're overinvested, that's going to be a huge problem. So manage your risk, preserve your capital. You know, if, if something goes two or 3x, remove your initial capital, then you have no risk. Like, what is the harm? Sure, you don't make as much if it continues going higher, but you have no risk. If it drops, all your risk is profit. So be careful with that, manage your risk, preserve your capital, and then make sure to subscribe to the channel because we're going to keep updating this as it continues. We're going to keep looking at the cycles, keep looking at the data, keep looking at the extremes to be able to try and figure out as best as possible when is going to be the optimal time to get out of this market um, because at some point the party is going to be over. But according to this, if we're going to get this, we are not yet at the end of the party and we still have quite a bit of party left in this bull run. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe. If you need help navigating this bull run, if you want to know how cryptocurrency works, if you just want support and guidance, come and join us inside my premium group, Intelligent Cryptocurrency, okay? It's research, it's education, it's community and it's support. We have over 700 crypto investors from all around the world. We're in a private Discord where we're in there every day trying to figure out how the market works, which coins to buy, when to exit, trying to share insights, discuss portfolios, help each other out. You know, if you're trying to do this and you're going at this alone, you're going to struggle and you're probably going to spend more than the entire membership fee um, for multiple years combined because it's just just a no-brainer i can really help you with this as much as possible share my experience with you and of course you get access to that network of over 700 people which alone is priceless so if you need education if you want tutorials i write a monthly newsletter every single month 30 plus pages analyzing the trends trying to figure out where we are in the cycle trying to find the best opportunity 
all of that is part of intelligent cryptocurrency so if you want the full details you can go and check out sign up the first link in the description below you'll get my free crypto masterclass all the details are explained at the end of that but if you just want to get an overview of the details and you're ready to sign up second link in the description below you can see everything there 60 day money back guarantee so no risk to you come and join us check it out if you're not happy for whatever reason you get a full refund but i think you'll find that you will be more than happy when you join so thanks for watching guys leave a comment below with your thoughts what do you think is going to happen in this bull run you know, are we still going to get the large cap in the alt, alt season phase? Is it going to repeat in that way? Are we still about to get a massive parabolic blow off? Or are we nearing the end of the bull run? Would love to hear what you think. Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.